I think we're going to see some good behavior. Well, the courts are dry. They were flooded about an hour ago. And here goes Ginepri right at the start of this match. And the clouds are high up, so hopefully there won't be any more rain tonight. Not a good way to start a match. last night when Roddick played Lubicic, it was absolutely packed and tonight maybe some people feeling that hello it's raining maybe they won't play so it's not quite full yet but as they hear that play is going on the stadium may very well fill up corporate boxes though seem quite full as you would expect This is also the opening ma the opening match of the night session. The Roddick match last night was the second match following a women's match, so it gave people time to get here. And historically, the U.S. Open, this is, in America, a three-day holiday weekend that started, that there's a holiday on Monday, Labor Day. So often people are sometimes aren't it's coming here on, s on the middle of Saturday, the Friday they may, and then do something with their weekend and come up for the afternoon. So anyway. That's a twisted way of explaining this. I've got everything that you said. Let me tell you that this is the first meeting between the two players. They've, they've obviously practiced together. The veteran doesn't want the young upstart to get the better of him. You know, it's all to do with pride. First game to Ruby Janakri. Tom Martin's uh, 14th successive US Open, by the way. Just in the first round last year to Gaston Galdio in four sets from Argentina. And um, perhaps we didn't mention him, he lost to him in the 99 final. It was Andre Axi, of course. Took him all the way to five sets, 6 2. And of course, Todd Martin reached another Grand Slam final in 1994 in Australia, in Melbourne, losing to Pete Sampras. So, Tom Martin, full of experience, been to Grand Slam finals, not going to be an easy match for the young American Robbie Ginepri. Four years, in fact, since Tom Martin last won the title in Sydney. That's a singles title. Still moves well. One of 12 players who started the event over 30 years of age. Martin lost in Washington, round one to Scott Draper, but he reached the last 16 in a Master Series event in Cincinnati, losing to Ron Schuttler, the Australian Open finalist. He also had a tremendous match at Wimbledon with Schuttler, I believe, Martin lost that 7-5 in the fifth, so good battles those two. Schuttler, a really hard worker, still in the tournament. He's going to play a Martin tomorrow. Roberto Martin. Jeffrey's put a lot of work on that forehand over the last year. It was a shot that was erratic and unreliable. He's really worked to beef it up and make it stronger and give himself more margin for error and 
flatten it out when he needs to. Ginepri, who also lost to Rana Shukla, by the way, in Cincinnati, straight sets. Martin. Look at this Ginepri, just step moving in and block and go. That's some good movement. Back and forth. Martin took uh, Shukla to three in Cincinnati. And Martin looking very strong behind that serve, punching away the volley. But he's playing a man who had two quarterfinals on the summer hardcourt circuit. One was in Cincinnati and the other one was Indianapolis. Big black dark clouds overhead. One game all as the sun is uh, still dipping beyond the horizon. We just see a few little red speckles on the clouds. Long distance away and the lights beginning to shine brightly on this coolish evening here. People have brought their sweaters. It's one of those nights, just in case, a little later on it's going to get very cool. Not bad for an old man. Gives us all hope. Well, that was some great lunging from Martin. Look at this here. Ginepri had it lined up, and Martin read it, and that lunge was just bad enough. A little more depth on that lunge, and Ginepri would have run it down, but credit goes to Martin. Ginepri, very quick, covers the court very well. His hero growing up is Michael Chang, and in fact, until the age of 15, he stood but 5'5". So he had a growth spurt late in his teens, and now he's being compared more to Jim Currier. 5'11", eh? 30. 30. Seven inches shorter than Mr. Martin. He's quite a giant of a man, isn't he? He is you a giant. You ever stood next to him? Many times. And uh, wh wh what do you talk to? His chin? Or? We talk eye to eye like most men talk, David. <laughs> well, both standing up. I didn't say that. Oh. Both sitting down there. Oh, great point. Well, one thing Jeanette might be doing tiring Todd Martin out. He's making Martin work really hard and that backhand is really something. Well, there's no question Ginepri wants to work Martin over. Martin's worst asset is his, is his movements. His foot speed isn't, isn't exactly in the Chang camp, but he is a tremendous ball striker. 40-15 for a 2-1 lead. Well, at this rate, Martin will run out of steam in a couple of games. Two lovely drop shots from Ginepri. He leads 2-1 with two two all on serve. In this third round match, place for the last 16. 15. Martin can get in first serves. He can, can come to net and force Ginepri free to pass him more. And those are the kind of points he'd like to play some of. Not exclusively, but enough to keep Ginepri from running him around. So first serve percentage, very critical to Todd Martin. Well, that's the opening ace of the match. Coming down, not that fast, but deadly accurate. 114 MPH, that's 183 KMH. Martin, I should add now, one of the most well-respected, classy players on the circuit.
Now, Todd Martin had a little problem with his throw when he played Martin the Kirk, so... Problem there. No problem with the ace, though, his second in a row. Having 16 MPH. Not fast at all, but again, smooth as silk and deadly accurate. Well, the motion is so fluid that it's hard to tell. Nothing in the motion tips off where he's going to serve. And it's coming down from a great height, so when it hits the floor, it really takes off. Awesome. Big serving here from Martin. Cruises to two all. Serves six. First serve from the loss. Well, the motion of his reminds me, though, not quite as dynamic, but a little bit of Michael Steek, the former player, where he gets the racket through the ball nicely. And again, it's just so well executed that you nothing in the motion tips off where he's going to where he's going to aim it, so it leaves you guessing that split second longer, so he doesn't have to serve as fast. Ginepri to serve, a tool. Well, there's one thing I noticed straight away, Joel, and please feel free to disagree is that the service motion of Ginepri just reminds me of Roddick. You just look at this, it's a very similar short lift up of the racket, and then he springs into action. Just like that, yeah. almost Roddick. Just like he's, not really, he's not really dropping the racket down. A little bit of Roddick and a little bit of Courier also. Very short. There you see. Thirty fifteen to Denbury. Not as violent or as twisted as it was Roddick's motion, but I, I something special. Now that's something which uh Ginepri has to be careful about. Two genuine unforced errors. He wasn't under any pressure whatsoever, trying to force the pace. Let Tom Martin in because he is looking for that sort of couple of charity points and he'll be in quickly. Two all, 30 all. Chance for Martin to impose himself a little. Jeffrey's wheels make Martin hit yet one more shot. Pretty easy shot, but still. Boy, yes. Jeffrey took that back end early. Picked it right up off the floor. Yeah. That's a good ace. Finish it off. Two aces each. Tom Martin to serve. Two, three down. All on service. Todd Martin to serve. Dropped just a couple of points on his opening serve. And the last one was to love. Delivered two aces. But he got his record here this time, but couldn't get the control. And you can see what Tom Martin wants to do behind his serve, get into the net, keep the rallies short. Doesn't want to get involved in these long, long battles against this very fit youngster. And force an effort to try passing shots. Compromise him.
some ticket. Rennie hits that backhand down the line. It is something. Now, Jeanette Pree's got a chance here. Martin Love, 32 3 and serving. He's got to come up with some couple of big serves at least. He's going to fare it better than if he hits it too far to corner. Jeffrey hits the ball well on the run and can do things and then send Martin on the run. So if Martin can get him in a little bit of a middle ball game. No angles for Jeanette Pree, in other words. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Well, he needed a big yeah, serve. Yeah. 124. Fastest so far. 200 kmh. And Martin. 30 all, 2 all, 2 3, I should say, in the first set. Trying to make it 3 all. Just a few more spectators coming in, not that many at the moment. But, uh, good competitive battle developing here. Pushes ahead to 30, 30, from love 30 down. Oh, great pick up from Martin. He's got his feet out of the way to get his racket free to deliver the volley. It's so difficult. solid. That was really, really, solid. really enjoyed that big serve and the way he got into position. Didn't have time. Three games all. Here's Jeanette Pree. It was there. 15 With all the hard work. Top's been over the net. How could I miss this? impressive to me about Martin is how well he plays points. He can do many things. He can use the whole court. Comes in. Oh, we asked the question. Todd Martin, and then he had the golden opportunity. Missed it. That gives Jeanette the lead 4 3, all on serve in this opening set. Just beginning to bubble this set. Todd Martin about to serve at 3 4. Good battle this. Oh, 
That is wonderful control. Wasn't the fastest of serves, but it was effective because it was so angled. And Marta just lightly put in the volley again. Another marvelous angle. This is experience for you. you. Don't have to blast everything. Oh, look at that pickup. This is what I was saying at the end of that last game. Martin just seemed to be hitting some form. Now he's delivered three great shots. A drop half, a drop shot off half folly. Punished Martin well there. Saw it, saw it came in quickly. The depth of the turn from Ginepri. Very good. Caught Martin flat footed. And I must say, Ginepri played and prepared really well there. Got his feet into a good position. He's been working a lot on his transition game with his coach, Steve DeVries. Agile running to his forehand. So that's a better job running left to his backhand than right to his forehand. And I'm sure we're going to see Ginepri trying to sense him in that direction more. Again. Another good serve from Martin is beginning to come along quite strongly now in this battle at four games all. Play at that, thought it was going to go long. Fifteen oh. Second double for Ginepri. Serving. He's just snapping the serves in those corners. Nice snap on the wrist at the finish. Short, short, lift up, and then the wrist comes into play. Game. Game. Well, he opened up there, Jeanette. But as soon as he did a double fault, he bounced back with two great aces. It's 5 4 in the opening set. Todd Martin is. Serving to save this opening set. There has not been a break point to either side. Serves are dominating this match so far. As on the line by Todd Martin's third ace. On 12 of his. 13 first serves. Not a bad record. Another one. 
Martin knows that Tineke, he's practiced with enough, he's seen him play enough to know that if he doesn't get that first serve, he will be punished. having trouble with that ball toss. Oh. 30-15. Maybe that's the reason for the double. His first, 30-15. on Ginepri to do something. Ginepri did the right thing. Well, that's a good play. I think the lob should be used against Martin. Ginepri has good disguise with it, but again... Six foot six, though, to uh, topspin. It's quite it's a, a lot, though, isn't it? a winner. Maybe you should <laughs> throw, throw up a good defensive one still. 40-15, this for five all. And Indeed, Martin does it comfortably. Nice. Five all. Who knows? We could have a first set tiebreaker here. We haven't even seen a break point. Not one. <laughs> Service dominated. Jeanette Pri. 15 <laughs> And again, is something special. It's pulled off four backhand winners now down the line. Sweet shot, particularly for someone that tall who's more usually more hits the two-hander. And that gives him a little bit of a chance here. Five all, 30 all. Ginepri serving. Wonderful shot from Todd Martin. Needed it. Yes, yes. And he's pressing Ginepri here. And if he can just make the breakthrough, he will serve for the opening set. This is pressure time for Ginepri. And he comes through with flying colours with that serve. Ginepri holds on, he leads 6-5, Martin will serve to save this opening set, and if he does, it will be a tie-breaker. Todd Martin serving to save this opening set at 5-6. Oh. 
Actually, that's a changing his attacking method. They're trying to chip the ball back. Not good timing, though. Martin 30 Love heading towards a tiebreaker. That's a great point. There it is again. Oh, Martin just read it so well. Do you think he's Good familiar agility. with? Do you think he's familiar with some of Janapri's patterns? Look at that. Choreographed. Forty love. We're going to for a tiebreaker here. Oh, we have a tiebreaker. <laughs> Well, well, I was just going to say, Joel, 12 games played, no break points at all. So, it's anybody's. And my word, this first set is vital. Just gives that winner, doesn't guarantee, gives the winner that little, little extra confidence. That's a super return. Locked it. Just lent on it, didn't they? Just lent on it. Exactly. And right down the middle. Just as you said, give him no angles. Should have been a coach job. Should have, but instead I settled for something grander. Well, it's high up anyway. <laughs> 200 feet high up. Over the left shoulder of Ginepri, we are looking down with this magnificent view, watching Todd Martin serving at one love. He's got a mini break in this first set tiebreaker. Not sure whether that went in, but that one did. I think Martins went in and over, and Ginepri hit that shot around the net post. One on. Yeah. Let's, Let's see this look. again. Look at this. Martin cracks it, and it's just in. And look at Ginepri. <laughs> Misses the umpire's chair. Well, that's that's going to be played on a few quiz shows. I'm not so sure whether Tom Martins. The turn went in as he hit the net cord. Nevertheless, it's one all. A costly miss for that, Tom Martin. It was a clean kill. He may live to regret that. Big points here. Ginepri bounces back 2-1 up. And he's got the mini brace. Well, look at this. This is where Ginepri ran round the post. Watch his head. They've just run it through. Just has to duck underneath the microphone from the umpire's chair there. And he's really in charge now of this tiebreaker. 3-1 up. Wow, how quickly that turned, just when we thought Martin had the momentum. And well, he had his chance, there was a sh short kill on that backhand, and it hit the top of the net. Big point here. Oh, he had time, and he missed it. And Ginepri, 4-1, only the one mini break in it. It all went on the wrong direction when Ginepri sent Martin running wide to that forehand and Martin really had to put on a lot of extra juice to get that forehand but was off balance and then over hit the backhand. Breather for both players. Tom Martin taking his time here. Has to win both these points. Just has to. He's going to stay in this first set tie break. rocking through and when you look at the speed gun it just says 112 Sorry. not a good time for a retoss well he did a double fault the last time he threw the ball up in a wrong way oh, 
well, that's some great good. work from Ginefri. That service return just floated inside the line. Five, five, again to Martin's five, forehand. Ginefri. Probably closer to the line than Ginefri intended, but just a, a well played look at that floats there. And Martin's pretty helpless, and Ginefri could go any way and hits the inside out forehand for a winner. 5 1, Ginepri leads. Double mini break up. Todd Martin still got one serve left. <laughs> and this looks like the set that got away here. And would you believe it, Martin's about to serve, and spectators are literally walking behind Ginepri at the moment. Absolutely ridiculous. And the Ushers have just let them in. Can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Martin hasn't stopped, he's just going to continue. They are sitting right behind Jeanette. You can just see them now, top of your screen. Can you believe it in a tie break? Toto, we are not in SW19. That's great stuff. 5 2 Jeanette now. Jeanette these two serves to clinch this. Opening set, which has lasted 43 minutes. Well, that's a solid volley for Martin. Moving forward, he knew that was a make or, loo make or die volley. So let's see what Chenefri does here. Goes to the weaker side of Martin's forehand and bombs that serve in 112. Four set points for the young American, the 20 year old. Game Does it with an ace. Seventh ace. And Ginepri takes the first seven set. Games seven games to six. six. Seven points to two. And he does it in 44 minutes. Fifteen. Sign yet of either player dropping their serve. I think this is the closest it's been, well, it's got to be the closest it's been to any sort of chance of a break of service. It's juice. It's been a few juices, but this hit could have proved costly. But this man is going to produce some good serves here. Yeah, I've got to say, Joel, what a clever serve. Not much pace, but a great angle. Well, he really made sure to get that first serve and didn't want to give Ginepri any opening and miss the first and give him a chance to really go to town on the second.
There it is, Martin Holt. What a surprise. First game of the second set. First game of the second set. First set of the second set. First set of the second set. Ready. Todd Martin has toweled himself down just a little. 7 he turned back in again, Ginepri knows he can hit it to either corner. I was going to say, Joel, shall we just go to the tie break in all sets? Maybe it's a fast Is it a waste forward. of time, the, these 12 games, or do you think there is a possibility that either one will break the other? Oh, there's no question. This isn't quite... You, you spent too much time with that Pete little Tampas tournament. Watching the little tournament. You spent too much time with that little tournament at Grass in London. Where What's that called? Maybe. Wimpleton. Wimple Tom. Wimpleton. <laughs> where waiting for a break point is like waiting for a traffic light to turn green. Not true anymore. They slowed the grass down as you know. Not like the good old days when Sampras dominated. Slowed the gar grass down and Sampras quits, eh? That's right. He decided <laughs> That's a new story. He, he decided <laughs> I can't win on clay. Pad over this grass. That's too much. Bring back four. No question. I, I think we'll see some break points. Let's, I think we'll see at least two break points in the course okay. of this. Okay. So. Ginepri 40 30. Gone in. Yeah. Lots of topspin dragging it down. One game, One game all. all. That's something Radic, uh, Radic, excuse me, Ginepri has added to his game this year. That forehand at times was too flat and it's really worked to get a lot more safety and dip on that forehand. Look at that one. Hook sides on way, hooks its way in. I think Todd actually thought it was going out. Not that he could have done too much, it was dipping so much. So, Mr. Martin, the second oldest player in the championship, serving to the 20 year old Robbie Ginepri, both Americans. The old and the new. A lot of pride at stake here for the veteran. Love it, Love it. Second double. Lights full on. Black overhead. Coming up to half past eight in the evening here in New York, Saturday night. Launching volley. He's done that a few times in his 15 year career. French to share. Jeffrey pounding his springs. Six aces to Todd Martin. Martin. 
Jackson, and he read it well. Well, I think Genefri's foot speed is, a, is his way of applying pressure. It's letting the opponent know you're going to have to hit a good volley. 48 points each after 55 minutes play. Can't get closer than that. John Martin acknowledges Robert Ginepri's pass. Now, one noticeable thing. It's Deuce in this game on the Martin serve and in the opening serve in the set was also Deuce. So Robert Ginepri is closing a bit now on the Martin serve. Is Martin tiring? Is Robert Ginepri reading Tom Martin better? Will it be the first break point of the match? Yeah, no, is. no, 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 no. So all those questions. <laughs> well, I was only Single asking. Answer. Seven aces to Todd. Yes, he's having a little problem. Beautifully struck by the six foot six inch giant. And he leads two games to one. Robert Ginepri is serving a one two down in this second set, having taken the first on a tie break. No breaks of serve at all. No breaks points at all. Oh, it's too easy for the veteran. Well, he disguised that so well. Well, it's got to be a break sometime, surely. An hour played and no break. 30, 30, 30. 30. Transitionary of forehand, one of the shots Schnepri's improved significantly in the last year. Opens up the court with the deep one, short to Martin's back, opens up the back and then, then can hit it anywhere he likes. Forty fifteen. this for two all. Martin just has come up 37 times and 127. I'm sorry, well, Dave. No, no, I was actually going to just follow what you said. You just, you just feel Tom Martin, if he does get an opportunity, come into the net. Just put the extra pressure on. But he's getting very little opportunity because Ginecki's shots are just so solid. And then he delivers a wonderful lob. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we spoke earlier about trying yeah. to hit a top spin lob over a six foot six man, and he hit that just splendidly. Yeah. Martin came in down the middle, another thing we advised, and Ginepri executed. Martin coming from a little too far back behind the court, and the approach didn't have much on it. And Ginepri, it was a like a clinic. It wasn't, it wasn't deep enough, the approach, was it? Well, and Martin was that, and Martin was too far back in the court when he hit it. Two games all in this second set. for that slower spinny serve to the side there almost came off just 99 miles an hour making 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 Todd Martin play extra shots Oh, I thought that was a good play. At the end of the uh, end of the match, I thought that was a good play from Martin. I think Martin would rather play an extra shot moving into the net than play two extra shots scampering around the baseline. Yeah. 
wise coach named Brent Abel once said to me, he said, where do you want to be if you're going to lose the point? If you're going to lose the point, do you want to be, let's say in Todd Martin's case, do you want to be jerked around the baseline side to side and have your energy and lose the point, or do you want to at least force Schneffrey to hit a quality passing shot like the shot he just hit? And I think it's the latter for Martin. Has overcooked that one. 15, 30, 30. That's a perfect description. A little trouble brewing here for Todd Martin. 15 30. I think he'll go right down the center. You like to predict. I do. Why not? 30 30. Quite right down the center. <laughs> he forced the weak return from Jeffrey. That's the ultimate body serve. 30 all. Are we going to get the first break point of the match? Could happen here. Not a chance. 40 40 30. Just a little bit frustrated. But Martin needs to be Robbie Ginepri serving. Serving for the ninth time in the match. By and large, is one that serves very comfortably indeed. Previous games in this set he served dropped just three, four points. Oh, that's sharp. I like that play from Ginepri. I like frequent lobbing when against a net rusher, even if he's as tall and has as proficient an overhead as Todd Martin. That's the kind of thing, David, that can begin to wear on the energy and, and the mind. And someone, someone who passes as well as Ginepri, that lob will give him the inches for more passing shots. So very impressive. Trying to approach the net. Well, he is approaching the net. Three games. Three games. But he's just overcooking it, but he's trying something. Three all. In the second set.
Got it. 30, 30, 30. 30. I got to go with him. Huh? I got to go with him. Martin thought it was out, and uh, Steve Ulrich said, I've got to go with him. And, and Martin said, it's not a good decision, Steve. But again, it is. I always like that when the players make that talk to the umpire. It's not it's a good decision, Steve, Martin said. Good umpire, Steve Ulrich. One of the best. Oh, that's a beautiful okay. forehand pass. And I think you spoke Pretty about something, yeah. David. Again, 30 all. This is the. Well, if not Deuce, this is the. Every game Martin has been at least extends to 30 out 30 or Deuce. Two out of the three he's served so far have gone to Deuce. We're trying to say that it seems like Ginepri started to some inroads on the Very Martin Very slowly eating away. Like a mouse nibbling on some cheese. And don't quite notice it until all the cheese is gone. <laughs> Nevertheless, Martin, 119 miles per hour, 191 kmh. 30 up. I want to continue on this cheese <laughs> notion. Did you like that? I liked Did a good piece of cheese. Mozzarella for me, thank you. Ah! Overhit it. Yes. On to juice. Martin's not pleased about that. Second one he's upset about. Steve's not going to overrule. And it's a third juice. Oh, it's gone on the line again. Well, the Ginepri ball Martin thought was out, out was in. But that was fair enough. It was called correctly. This one has been called incorrectly. Yeah, Martin says one of the fans says get him out. Same baseline jump, was it? Well, Martin was born in the same state as Jimmy Connors. He understands the way of working with umpires. Well, this could be crucial. Juice, three all. And we have, after one hour and 11 minutes, the very first break point of the match. And that line call is absolutely crucial. And now the crowd are revved up. They're into third gear already. We could get to fourth if Ginepri breaks. Oh, he's, he's done it. Ginepri is broken. First break of the match, an hour and 12 minutes, and Ginepri is set up already after the tiebreaker. is now 4 3 ahead, and he's served to come. Todd Martin's been remonstrating a little bit with the baseline judge who made an appalling error, it appears. It's cost Todd Martin a break. Todd Martin, who doesn't get upset too often, Mr. Carman is pretty annoyed and very frustrated, and Robbie Ginepri has set up already following the tie break in the first set. He's 4 3 up, serving, and is already 15 love. And he's determined to put Todd Martin away here and move on to a two sets to love lead. Clean ace. What he should be thinking of is the shots he, not, he shouldn't be thinking of anything but the point that's ahead and a great player is not gonna let one shot. If he does, that's maybe why he's not a great player. Because a great player, it sure it affects his attitude, but he shouldn't let it affect his attitude. For D love. And obviously it has affected up Martin's attitude. He's, he's steaming, you can see it in his body language. And she just knows. keeps on keeping. Well, he knows he's got his man in a corner. 40 love. Game. Well, Ginepri. he put in two aces, nine aces overall, and all of a sudden, Ginepri, Ginepri is, is within eight. touching distance of a huge lead here. See, a player to let something like that affect his attitude, while it may indeed do that, it's a form of letting it, looking for a reason to find a way to bail out of a match. Sure, Todd Martin has faced a few break points in his career. And yeah, listen, Tom Martin, if he goes two sets to love down, no problem. That's true, too. Only He's times? done that eight times in his career. Maybe he wanted to do that. Maybe I think so. Uh, that's, that's the whole point. He wants to please us and give us I a think he wants to give Ginepri a two sets to love start to show you 
show us how good he is. Yeah. Todd Martin, obviously yeah. determined to hold his serve here, forced Ginepri to serve out. Hopefully the nervous gremlins might descend upon Ginepri, but Ginepri has looked very cool and very calm for a 20-year-old, very mature, certainly on the tennis court. It's 15 enough to Tom Martin, a set and 5-3 down. I want to revisit this notion yeah. of the mental impact of this song. We'll talk about it on the changeover, about how that affects a player's mind it's something something Billie Jean King told me about that once so we'll we'll pick that up on the changeover big serve from Martin 120 for the yeah. looks like Ginepri's got a serve out for this set Ginepri is going to serve for a two sets to love lead here. Ginepri leads five games to four for the second set. And by one, two sets to love. Ginepri serving for the second set. Martin in full flight here has already posed the question. Flattening that forehand down the line, he takes that vital first point. Is he going to break back? It's going to be astonishing if he does. Now he's gonna he's gonna crack this second serve. Is Martin gonna leather it? Well he didn't really get into position. Did he, did he? No, Clever he serve as well. To, he wanted to, but it was a good eighty seven mile serve into the body, but again that was Martin going with his core play. He loves to hit that backhand down the line. 30-15, Ginepri closing now on this second set, two points to go. Well, Martin trying to slow down. You see Ginepri, he moves quickly in between points. And I think Martin's smart to, to back off and help to hold on. Full called, a bit late. Ginepri doesn't like it. Looks up at the umpire. Look at this. Now, let's hear. Listen, I thought it was four feet in. Is it all against me? I don't know. It looks like Steve Ulrich's over rule. You're saying it was definitely within the range, so therefore she couldn't call it. Okay. My official does not know what the issue is. You're saying the linesman was on the side instead so of playing a left? Well, then it was out. When we look at the electronics, I wish they used the uh, computer systems these days. Well, they're replaying the point. The lines person was unsighted. The lines, the line judge called it out. So all I can think of is Steve Ulrich overruled. Very unfair on Todd Martin. Well, Todd Martin, he had a few decent line calls, might be nudging towards levelling this set here. It's 30 all. 5-4 Ginepri, it's really boiling up. The second set really is really heating up. In all aspects, and two great forehands from Todd Martin. He's, he's won in both the points that's got him to 30 all. Let's see if he leans on his backhand and gets in. Here he comes. Ginepri with the lob. Would you believe it? The very first break point against the Ginepri serve. And we had a match here. Todd Martin is steaming because of the calls that are going against him. And he's got a good point. 30-40. This to break back. Can Jeanette be put in a big serve? Can Todd Martin get it back? Well, uh, we said, I, I, we thought there'd be at least two big points, but I don't know. Jeanette seems to silence that, and that seems to be about 10 face. So let's see. Jeez, 5-4.
Great return from Martin. Second break chance. Ginepri looking a little tight, as you would expect. Well, as they call it the dirty business of winning, trying to close out a set. Oh, he had it. Again, he came in, he had it. He knows he had it. And it was a great opportunity for Martin Ginepri starting to rush a little more. I think Ginepri ought to be the one who slows down a little now and calms himself. Which he's doing. Juice. Left. Martin Beautiful. stepping in there, again deep into the Ginepri backhand, paid dividends, finishes him off with a great goal. Well, that backhand down the line return to the deuce court is bread and butter for Todd Martin, and he gets in the first volley and just crunches that second. Mm -hmm. That is such wonderful play. Third break point. Now he's got a big chance here on the second serve. Big chance. Todd Martin oh, the has done it. He has broken back astonishingly. What great play from the veteran. Five games all. That was a great set of shots for Martin. All the games up to then on the Ginepri serve, there hadn't been a break point. Martin forced three, and he's riled up because he'd been, in his mind, cheated in his mind by the line judge when he thought he had a ball in and on a Ginepri serve that was out, that was replayed. Well, so we have a, an interesting battle here. Do, and sometimes I think a player will find something like that just to kickstart himself too. I mean, Martin rational enough to know that those calls happen, but using that, channeling that finally in his favor. Went to an extra level. Exactly. And he's found a sort of a weakness deep in the Ginepri backhand. Five games all, second set. You know we're about 200 feet away. 15. Five, 15. Five all. Aaron 24 gone. Could be a long night here at the Arthur Ashe Stadium. Certainly if Tom Martin can somehow pull out this set. It. Todd Martin is playing some inspired tennis here. He's come to net 62 times in this match and won 39 points and only won 18 of 36 this set, but more importantly, he's applying the pressure and forcing Ginepri to hit some good shots, not letting himself get maneuvered all around the baseline. 5 all, 15 all. That was a pretty wild shot from Ginepri. And that was a little unusual. There was a touch of frustration about it. Yeah, that's perfect. And the Martin, the pressure Martin's been applying really forcing Ginepri out of his comfort zone. So Tom Martin just taking his time now. The calm of the two maybe at the moment. Oh, oh. Wow. that was absolutely astonishing. Wow. That was incredible. Where do you find that angle? Good serve. Great return. 30 all. 5 all. Standard. 
going up and up now. Good tennis. Robbie Ginepri is reading Todd Martin's serve. Even his volleys, he's reading. Well, that was a good get off the overhead, but Martin finds the right angle on the backhand volley. 40-30. Oh! <laughs> A nine forehand volley, yes. very easy and makeable. Martin just thinks a come but on. He's got to come down from a long way, isn't he? Six foot six. He bends his knees quite well. Deuce. How can I do that? Eh? Oh well, you just have to serve again then, Todd. Five all juice. Dug himself out of almost down, two sets to love. Come on, a, a Leighton Hewitt sweep there. Oh, you, Quite you, as strong though, is it, Joel? No, not as uh, how intense. Would say, high, intense or as high pitched. Leighton high pitched. He's a bit higher pitched, is not he? Well, he is younger. This for six, five. See if he goes into the jump beforehand. Well, Martin at the net is definitely better than Martin on the baseline, and it certainly helped him bounce back. 5-4 down to 6-5. Robbie Ginepri, the 20-year-old, is serving to save the second set. He took the first set in the tiebreaker. He served for this set, missed out, and it's now 5-6 down. And Robbie Ginepri is just losing his composure, just a bit. Now it's Ginepri who's not quite getting the break from the net or the, or the line. Exactly one and a half hours gone. We haven't even completed two sets. And you just feel Tom Martin is a little inspired here. He's been fired up when those line calls went against him. And he's within two points of leveling this match. And Jeanette Priest first serve ratio just going down a fraction still very high but this is crucial now no. he's over hit it it's two set points to Todd Martin from nowhere and the crowd are loving it and the crowd have come in there's quite a few now in the stadium and this is becoming a cracker of a battle between these two Americans. Well, let's see if Martin comes in on this one. He's going to step in, that's for sure. Oh. Well, that was a little <laughs> improvisation from Ginepri with the overheads, but just enough. One set point saved, but there's still one to go. This is going to test the youngster. Oh. Just the wrong side. That is a good serve. Yes. It sprung up off the court. Exactly what it did. We knew that it was wise to stay away from the Martin backhand, which could, Todd figured he could really lean on it. Jeez. Get in. So now let's see. He goes. Come on. 
Come on, says Tom Martin, because he's got a third set point. Yeah, he's on a bit of a roller coaster ride at the moment. Can Jeanette be fought the flow? And Todd Martin. Again, just alongside going down the centre. It. Martin thought he'd play some defense and float one up, but it wasn't yes. deep enough, and so it just laid its way in there for Ginepi. Again, Martin less agile, moving to his forehand. Juice, Ginepi saved three set points. Ginepi misfiring one. badly on his first serve this game. Well, something that Joel said before, yeah, down the centre, giving Ginepri no angle and called him totally flat-footed. Fourth set point in this pulsating game here. And the last few games have been pulsating. <laughs> yeah, he's done it again, Ginepri. Yes. Now it's Ginepri with the come on line. Could have had it to Ginepri, save four set points. Well, I think he ought to take a little speed off this serve and really make sure he gets that first serve in. Well, he doesn't listen to you and tries to smack it as hard as he can. Double. That's the worst yeah, time he could do it. It's a fourth double fault to Ginepri. It's a fifth set point to Martin. And Martin must be thinking, this must be surely the time I'm going to get this point, this vital point. What a great serve yes. from Ginepri. Well, this is just inspired tennis from both players, just the ability to play these points this well. So tight, such a, as you said the other day, David, such a, a knife, the match can turn on a knife, on the blade of a knife. Ginepri trying to obviously go up two sets to love. Martin trying to square this match and push the reset button. It's juice. It's 5 6. <laughs> oh, it's a wild one from Todd Martin. Ginepri right puts his nose in front. And now here's his chance to force the tie break. As we predicted, anyway. We had no idea it would take like this path. Oh, a great yeah. shot from Ginepri. He levels the match up at six games all. We're into second six set tiebreak. Ginepri has wonderfully, and you've got to give all credit to the 20 year old, saved five set points. We're into a tiebreaker. Those are some great passing shots he's hit tonight. Martin again, come up to net 42 times this set and only won 21, but he needs to do that still. He needs to keep coming in and press him, and now we're going to see who's going to blink. Well, Todd Martin's got to forget now he had five set points because the youngster really deserved to save them all. Here goes Todd Martin. Lost the first 7-2. So he's already got one point in the bag. A slow, steady, spinny side serve. Just 102 miles per hour. One love to Martin. Could be a long night here in the Arthur Ashe Stadium. Too long. Mini break to Todd Martin. Two zero. And Ginepri, for the very first time, is just a little upset. He's got to remain calm. He's played so well. Both of them have played well. Love two. Now Ginepri misses the toss. Maybe they're both getting nervous. First serves again, just beginning to go down here. He needs them. Putting his rival. 
He's got to work hard, Tom Martin, if he's going to level this match up. I just feel if Tom Martin goes two sets to love down, it just be a bit too much. That might be quite a steep hill, but... Even for a man who's come back from two sets to love down, what was it, eight times, did you say? I don't think it's correct. I don't think he's done that in a few years, though, and he's 33, but let's... Yeah. He's not thinking about that. He's just thinking about his getting his first serve in. 2-1 with the mini break. Over hit from Jeanette, but he doesn't have really to do too much. Yeah. Yeah. Two forehands like that in this tie break. He's just trying to force it too much. It's just the youthful instinct of trying to blast your way back. 3 1. So close to the line. 4-1. Four, one. Four, one. Todd Martin. And this is the kind of tie break Todd might want to play in that first set after he had the initial mini break. And now he's played just a exemplary tie break. Well, he'll be happy to pick up one of the next two and he'll be really happy. Well, first one's gone. Because it's an 11th ace from Ginepri. I have to say, Jolly serves so well, Robbie Ginepri, on major points. In the ad court. Right, he's his two points in this tie break, both aces in the ad court. Just twenty. You've got to remember, he's just twenty. He has improved a lot in the last six months. He's up there with the big boys. Four two. Turn round every six points, of course. Hey, you never know; they might be turning round again. Two four. Four, four. Two yeah. successive aces. A 12 base for Jeanette. Here's a guy who's basically he's a grinder and he's won every point, all his points in the tie break have been aces. But Todd Martin has the mini break. Now, Martin. He just hold his two here. We'll have three. I think Martin here wants points. to serve. I'm sorry, I think Martin wants to serve into his body and get a volley. Right. He's certainly going to come in. So he's forcing Ginepri to try to pass him. Huge serve. 5-3. and well placed. Well, his fastest today is going to 124, so just goes to show, putting everything into it. Say, Joel, that's just a wonderful serve. Three. So, it's only 99 miles an hour. No, well, he's had a number of wide deuce court serves, but never won more than that, never won better than at that time. Now, Ginepri down three set points. Saves Six. one, two to go. Even if Ginepri holds on to this next point, Martin, Todd Martin has one serve to clinch it. He has an opportunity here to break this Ginepri serve here and clinch the set. And he does it. Tom Martin, who trail 5-4, broke Ginepri with serving for the set, has leveled this match up and one set all in the tie break. Ravi Ginepri to open things up to start the third. Well, like if you fans come for a quick cup of tea in America, yeah. the equivalent of dark overhead, the lights full on, another late night battle developing here. And we are at Ash Stadium Court. We've seen some great matches over the years. We saw one last night when Roddick just came through against 
Ilya Dubcic. It's going to be just as exciting. Could develop into a classic. It's got all the hallmarks of a real sturdy, tough battle. Robert Ginepri is just going to be a little bit upset with Todd Martin turning away just before he serves. For Dilo. Well, this match tonight is going to be a constant real baptism of fire for Ginepri. Never quite been at this stage of the slam. the ball back and Tom Martin is astonished in his first game, new ball, third set, one hour and 45 minutes gone. I think what Ginepri's seen is that he can't just levitate his way to win this match with good shot making and youth that he's seen. Oh, this, this Martin has caught up with me, even that drop shot, even though Ginepri won the point, put, put Martin through some hoops, look at that Martin hits it behind him. Ginepri's going to put him, Martin is going to put Ginepri through some paces tonight. And say, all right, I've played a lot of matches here past 9 o'clock at night. You're going to have to work, son. I must say that towards the end of that second set, and Todd Martin had to, definitely raised his level and has maintained that level. He's moved up a half a gear. Serving with new balls. Pardon me. I think it's can he maintain that level, Todd Martin? It seems pretty physically healthy and fit and scampering all over the court. Robbie Ginepri, full of energy. You don't think he's going to be faulted by fitness. He seems very strong. For Ginepri, it's going to be a matter of making his way through a longer novel. He hasn't played that many long matches. Todd Martin has played 35 five-set matches and probably an equal amount of four-set matches, if not more. Ginepri hasn't played that many long, long matches. Could have been two years on the tour. The one thing I've noticed is that nearly every point now, if you just, I've been sort of looking out of our commentary box here, looking at Robbie Ginepri's body language, his head's down a bit, shrugging his shoulders, getting a little bit animated, getting a little bit upset with Tom Martin, who's trying to take as much time as possible in between points. Upset with Todd Martin or just upset? I think he's just upset with himself because he was a set up, 5-4 up, serving for the set. He believes he should be two sets to love up. Hadn't been broken, hadn't even had a break point against him. And I think that's beginning to pay. Look, he's even shrugging his shoulders down there at the far end. Mm. Everything now, his body language is indicating. Head down again. Look, see, look at the end. He's turned away, he's getting more and more frustrated. He's only 20, remember. You just feel that could be a big factor in this match. Oh. And again, now. And Todd Martin is a real professional. Whether you like it or not, he knows he's getting to his younger opponent. Well, they both but he's know not each other well. He's not trying to get to his opponent by yipping like this on three straight tosses. In fact, he's a little embarrassed. Yeah. And we also know that he had problems in his last match with the ball toss. That's correct. Right. He had more than half a dozen yeah. such tosses. But this is really affecting Robbie Ginepri. He's got to hold it together here. Because his serve is coming up and he's got to hold on. But Tom Martis, he's taking his time and Ginepri is again getting frustrated. That's such good craftsmanship. Now, the return of Ginepri to a very good Todd Martin serve, he hit it beautifully, but it was a shot of frustration. He wanted to ram it as hard down Todd That's Martin's right. throat. And he Martin went in, but Tom Martin was then putting it away with a nice volley. Well, he hit, he hit a good volley on the first one, and then he elicited the, the weak one on the second one. I think Martin is just aware of Ginepri's. He's starting to read some of Ginepri's pattern. And again, it's a little bit as if Ginepri thought he'd start this match off just flying through traffic. Well, See, there you go. That is a typical yeah, example yeah. of a young player getting fed up. And Martin has come, has come to say to Jeffrey, well, look, this isn't, you're not going to just fly through the express lane. You're going to have to 
You're going to beat me. You're going to beat me. Drive your way through some matters. Wouldn't surprise me here that Martin just pulls away a fraction in this game. No. Just wide. And, and Martin's putting the pressure on. He's coming into the net. He's squeezing Ginepri. That's exactly what he's doing. He's squeezing him right. Just, just like uh, wringing out a towel so much. Just a little like water. Yeah, I like that. Little water is coming out of drip, him. Trip, trip, trip. He's getting to him. Well, it's a beautiful thing, actually. Love 40. There it is. Love 40. And, you, and you've had right up to the end of that second set. Ginepri is absolutely perfect. It's all about temperament and emotion. Oh, Three break How points. you balance those ingredients and and emotionally configure yourself for those big points and here's Todd with three breaks points oh. 15. 15. this is a big moment for both players especially for Todd Martin if he can break here 2 one hold his serve 3 one calm cool and collected Todd Martin as he is now Push on. Third Good serve, though. Well, this match is going to have a significant impact on Robbie Jeffries' career. Not what he does, but it will be a match he will always remember when he looks at his early career. By the time he either beat Todd Martin or he was it had Todd Martin in a match. U.S. Open, 20 years old. His friend, his friend Roddick, moving forward. Him wanting to make his strides. Well, yeah. underlined again by what we've just been saying. It's a double fault. It's the fifth. He just filled now okay, Todd Martin has definitely got not only the edge in game 2-1, psychologically he's in front. Well, if you're just joining us, you've missed a cracker of a match so far. Plenty to go. I'm Dave Luddy, with me is Joel Drucker. Todd Martin has come from a set and 5-4 down with Ginepri, Robbie Ginepri, his opponent, serving for that second set. Todd Martin broke 5 all and eventually won the tiebreak one set all, and he's broken Ginepri just a moment ago to lead by two games to one. And Todd Martin, the 33-year-old veteran, is just ahead by two games to one against an opponent who's 13 years younger. Well, there again, Martin yeah, coming in down know. the middle. Coming down the middle saying, Robbie, you're not going to run and find an angle. You're going to have to generate one yourself, and Ginepri slaps. Hands on hips, frustration increasing. And this is the problem that Ginepri's faced in the last 20, 25 minutes, getting more and more upset with himself. Almost a good shot. Trying to mess Ginepri up. Ginepri returned very forceful. to Todd Martin. 14 to Ginepri. That's a great shot, which Todd Martin quickly acknowledges. Yep, he said, great shot. 30 all. Now, maybe Robert Ginepri's gone past that terrible patch that he's just had. Maybe he's just getting himself together. Well, that oh. could prove possible. It was a great point for Ginepri. That was a gimme volley, a real duck. Martin hit a fine serve. Look at this here. It's a good serve, gets in and takes his eye off it or doesn't move through it. Just not a very good volley, obviously. Now Ginepri with a point to square the mat set. Yeah. 
Yes, says Martin. Well, as he should, 11th ace. 30 40 down, now it's Juice. Oh, he's a tough one to beat, Mr. Martin. Big serve. Uh, Big man, miss. Second break back point. Please take a seat. Jeffrey breaks back, and we've had just a couple of minutes under two hours, and this match is absolutely level. One set all, and two games all, and both have broken each other in this set. For an hour and 11 minutes, there wasn't even a break point. Jeffrey has won 98 points, Martin won 99. 99. Who's going to get to the 100 first? Point separating them. Oh, oh nice point. Useful reaction wins the day. Well, that first backhand really set it up well. 99 points each. Good and we've had some terrific ballers. Brutal sometimes. Almost saying hello to each other, having a, a conversation with the it. ball. Martin. Finds it rather amusing. Well, I think some of the negative energy that was affecting Ginepri early in the set seems to have gone, seems to have evaporated. I think he's gotten himself a back little on track? back on track. Mm -hmm. And Martin slightly reacting to that second set. Well, that volley at 30 all, that easy volley Martin had that set up a break point and will serve significance. Sorry, Joel, we're almost back to where we were in the first set, aren't we? Just serve dominating. 40, 50, 50. But there are errors now. There's some great shots and there are plenty of errors. Well, at this rate, Todd Martin's going to come up to net more than 100, 110 times this match. It's already come in 79. And that will take its toll on a hard court. Ginepri, 3-2 in this third set. Ginepri, three games to two third sets. One set. Todd Martin, 2-3, third set, exactly two hours gone. Flat tight. Twelfth ace. It's now all composed now, isn't it, after that freneticism, end of the second and start of the third. We're back to normal. What's normal at the US Open? <laughs> well, that's true. It's a very good point. Oh. 
15. 15. Mm -hmm. Well, a bit ambitious from Robbie Ginepri. Now we're really moving towards that stage. We can almost feel it now that the set could be another tiebreaker. Though, as I said, I, though I did pick Ginepri, I also somewhat have a belief that perhaps who wins this set will win the match. Well, that was comfortable, wasn't it? The volley wasn't good enough. He hits some tremendous yeah, passing yeah, shots. Yeah, yeah. Again, Martin has come up to net 81 times, 149. Still, Ginepri just can really snap the passes. You give him this opening and he'll take it. It's the ball early. 2 3, 30 all. Chance here for Ginepri. He's calmed down now, not so frustrated anymore. Oh! Uh -oh. When you need a net cord, you get it. <laughs> Now, do you know, Joel, that's uh, unusual. Usually when it hits the neck cord, it bounces right up, and it's easy for the person receiving it. That one... No, that is interesting. It's not often you hit a neck cord that wobbles down. Whew. Break point. Go for an hour and 11 minutes, no break points. Now they're coming fast and furious. Does that mean they're angry? They're furious? They're fast and furious? I yeah. know they're fast, they come soon. Does that mean they're angry, they're furious? Yeah, of course they are. Do you know the English language? I do not know the English Shakespeare language. country. No, I'm an American. Dickens, Shakespeare. This realm had fights off that big point. Nice movement. Yes. He's demonstrating. I have a good vertical leap. the one. Right. Oh, when Martin does that, you know he is flying. That was a great drop shot, and he's missed a couple of those tonight. Well, Jennifer yeah, 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 yeah. has been passing cross court a lot. He's hit a lot of these. This time, Martin was on it. A lovely control, oh. and then pulls the trigger. Huh. Was that good, or was that good? He was, he knew Jennifer was going to go for that running forehand cross court pass, and Martin with the point for three all. that he was Great such stuff. anticipation again that deep yeah. shot into the backhand pays dividends well but the first volley was not only a terrific first he volley but then he knew instantly look at this anticipation here good deep volley and look at him move he knows it cross court boom he's over it that's tremendous well i'll say it's well done Martin, Martin's tied up, you know, he's got the old fist pump here. And it's good to see well, this dying nice this dying breed of serves and volleys. It's just lovely. They're going there. He's got, got it, it again. Well, I don't think they're dying here, but I just think we're in an era where they're not seeing as many of them, and I think there'll be a cycle where they will they may well return. It's not gonna well, die, it's not right. gonna go the way of of the the wood racket that some love or White balls. Love 30, Jeanette Pre. Three all. Big seventh game here. Oh, oh he, he just wanted that. Too. Just overloading, just pushing a bit too much. Just uh, almost too quick for himself. But it's 15 30, still got the edge. But Jeanette Pre's playing well now. Very, very fast through the air with that racket. And the neck oh, cord is Martin a bit unkind again. Oh, 
Oh my. The second time in this match, a bad let court has hurt Martin. Back in the first set tie break. Had a backhand lined up that would have consolidated his mini break, and he was all over that one. That's it. Good clear call there by the. Three all, 30 all, 107 points each. Well, the threat of coming into net is what forced Ginepri to miss that shot. Martin has planted so many seeds of doubt, and now he is, has the point to take charge of this third set. This is a pivotal set of feet. Beautiful play from Ginepri. Up 120, 117 mile an hour serve. Took off like a rocket. What a lovely follow up to that serve. One minute you think Todd Martin's going to break through. Next minute Ginepri comes up with the goods. This match is literally on a knife edge. That's quite clear call, isn't it? They bring it for the big points, don't they? <laughs> Some inspired yeah, tennis yeah, from Jeanette yeah, Creek. Three great points he played there to lead 4-3 in this third set. Sometimes this match has been quite brutal, some of the shots. Full of power. But there's been some light shots too from Todd Martin, some great drop shots. Welcome Robbie Ginepper to his house. Todd has won the last four matches under the lights at Ash Stadium. He's won them. You're going to tell me who against? I'll tell you that he beat in 2000 about his Matt Epic versus Carlos Moya. Mm -hmm. Two sets to love down, winning 6-2 in the, in the fifth. Oh. And the match will be calling 99, beating Greg Rzecki. I believe he also beat 99 to beat Slava Dozadel here in the quarterfinals. And 13th ace for Todd Martin. And what was the fourth? Don't have it, sir. <laughs> I you don't have I don't it. Know. Promising so much, Joel, and then you let me down the last. Todd Martin's not letting anybody down. He took that full bloody drive there. But if that hit his body, he would have been hurtling back with the spectators. For all. Watch this, full drive. I think we're going to see the old Martin volley there, but it was a great volley. Hurtling back into the spectators? Well, if the ball had hit his body, he would have gone with the ball into the spectators behind him. God, I have to explain everything to yeah, him. Yeah. Just a little slow. Yeah, it is late. Past your bedtime. That is correct. It's out. It's easy, yeah. But then again, this is the city that never sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah, we are at the open from the first so ball to after the last this ball. after this match, it's uh, there's a hamburger in town about 2 a.m. <laughs> and you can in New York. Might be the first time eating out that late. Meanwhile, four all, 30-15 Ginepri, third set. 40-15 Ginepri, heading towards, will it be yet another tiebreaker? Sure seems that way, doesn't it, David? It's got an inevitability about it. 
Well, and Ginepri, he's he's serving here like he's double parked. He's rushing his way now. He takes his time, but he really moves briskly through between points. His action leaves uh, little chance to make errors. Very simple. Martin in again and makes it. Oh, so you mean it's a, there's a good margin? There's a good margin with his service motion. I think a little bit. Uh, you mean little chance of? Okay. Pardon me. You're tying yourself in knots here, Joel. <laughs> little chance of him making an error. Yeah, I've explained it as best I could. And oh, that is fantastic. A lob. A backhand volley to begin with in the last point. Yes. Great topspin lob. Look and at this. Back to Juice. Ginebri not that comfortable playing the backhand slice, and Martin, we haven't height. seen that one all night. That is beautiful. And now there's a second serve coming up. Todd Martin can smell the possibility of taking a break point here. Ginepri overhits that forehand. He's done that a few yeah, times. Uh, 40-15, Joel, and his concentration just lapsed just a second. And here is a big break point for Tom Martin because if he gets this, he'll serve for two sets to one lead. Double. Double. Oh, and Ginepri throws his hat on the floor, kicks it as Martin walks Martin. sturdily to his chair because Martin has broken to lead 5-4 after Ginepri delivered a six double fault. And I really believe, Joel, that Ginepri had that game and completely lost focus. There goes the hat. Well, I agree with you, David. And Ginepri has played some terrible late stage service games in each of these last two sets. Serving for the second at 5 4, serving at this one, 4 all 40 15. And that's the sign of experience and wisdom. And those are the kind of moments that really make a key difference in the evolution of your career. Whatever happens in this match, Ginepri will look back on it and say to himself, There I was, the third round of the USL was playing old man Todd Martin. Had him up a set, third set for all, 40-15. Now, okay, he wins seven U.S. Opens. He'll remember this match much more so than Martin will. And Martin is just another Todd Martin, just another match, isn't it? Just another Saturday night in New York. <laughs> you can see that. Look at them. He's oh yeah, time, time. Know, it's been here before. Thank goodness, experience counts for something in life. Well, 13 years older is Todd Martin. He leads by five games to four. He's about to serve all the set. Well, he wants to look as calm as a... What is an accountant about to put something in the mailbox? But I don't think he feels that calm. Thank you. It's pretty tough to when you're serving for a set. He's been here before. 5-4. This for two sets to one lead. Love it. Love it. It's Robbie Ginepri there has got some wonderful shots. And he takes a vital first point. Martin again trying to place this ball into the backhand. He's made two errors on this approach. And now he's got to work hard. And Ginepri may let fly with one or two big blasters here. Remember, Ginepri served at 5 4 in the last set. Martin broke him. Now it's in reverse, maybe. Big serve from Martin. Falls one point back. 15-30. A real cracker of a solid match tonight. Little minor classic developing.
That is so Oh, great. that is some great racket work from Martin, and that was a good return. He found that ball and shoveled it into the corner for a winner. Shoveled. Shoveled. Yeah. Look at this shovel. Shoveled it. And I thought you were a poet. 30 all, 5-4. That point to Todd Martin. Ooh. Two hours and 20 minutes. This is a very long match indeed. It's six minutes to 10 at night here in New York. And Todd Martin is on the verge of just pulling ahead by two sets to one. Best of five sets. Third round match. There it is, Todd Martin, comfortably in the end, holds his serve and he takes it 6-4, and we have a match on our hands. Again, start of the fourth set, two hours and 20 minutes gone, Jeanette for serving. Martin passes. It's a bit of a panic I sense from Ginepoli. I said come to net, but it was a little bit of a panic. Martin, I think you want to come to net four, five, six balls into it when he's had him a little tired than just give him a chance to react and hit a pass like that. Again, as you said, David, that first point sets the tone for a game. Here he comes. Passes. Oh, that's a flick. But he's forcing Ginepoli to produce great winners and can you continue to produce great winners? That's right, that cumulative pressure within a few moments. Martin's already come up to net 96 times. Ooh, he's thinking about it. Yeah, that was good. Well, Ginepri not only just needs this game because he needs the game, he needs it just to lift his spirits a bit. You know, you, you're still thinking he should be two sets to love up. Instead, he's two sets to one down. Well, he's lost three straight games, too. Well, that's great depth again, that middle part of the court, that deep and down the middle. Martin's drives are, they're low, he strikes them flat, so they tend to be lower than some of the more contemporary balls you know, he's used to. 30 all. One minute to 10. And we're still here. Oh, oh, Got oh it. it's got it. That's fantastic. Oh, well, that's shot making from Todd Martin. You usually don't see his shots that flashy, but that was a great point, and here he is with a chance to be put himself in a prime position. Look at the whip on that. I thought it was going to be a lob. I did. I and did that too. is brilliant. I did oh, too. Did I enjoy that? Todd Martin enjoyed it as well. Break points, opening game of the fourth. Taking the pace off the ball. And it works. Well, that was a great tactic from Todd Martin. Joel, that was completely different. That was something completely different. Well, he tried that way early in the match, but I think it's been smart because he realized he can neutralize Ginepri, and Ginepri, as long as Martin gets moderate depth, Ginepri's not going to hurt him too much, and Ginepri's a little too scared to come to net now. Ginepri not comfortable with the transition game. A, a, a smarter player might come in on those balls or top spin them or look for ways to attack Martin. But Martin, he neutralized the po point and getting Ginepri frustrated. And the spirit of the two men at the moment, Martin, Tom Martin must be absolutely supremely confident. And there's huge doubts now coming into Ginepri's mind. Right, and let's, this, this game, well, every game, but this game pivotal for the momentum. Well, he knows he made a fluff of that forehand, and he's just taking his time like a good, experienced pro that he is. Oh. 
15. See the body language again is going with Janepri. Just a little. You mean di di dropping? Dropping. Going. Going down. Just explain everything to you, John. Well, going with and uh, in some countries might be accompanying so? with him, perhaps. <laughs> drip, drip, drip. <laughs> he is a real professional professional. Did you get that? I do understand that, what you mean by that. You repeated it redundantly. Thirty fifteen, one love up already, having broken. Rally, Ginepi wins it. I was a little surprised by Martin's tactics at that point. I thought he should have stayed in the cross, but it wasn't short enough for him to go down the line. Ton Martin has broken Ginepi five times. Or four times. Four times, and Ginepi has broken twice. let that bounce. Well, there was another one there at another volley earlier in the se third set that Martin missed at, at, a, at 30 all. I don't know why he didn't let that bounce. It and just swept it into a corner. Just taking it where he could be more balanced. Great point. Big chance for Ginepri. And Todd Martin produced a big serve here. It's big all right. Straight in the net. Oh, now look at the, look at the look at Janepri below. I don't think he's so mad at Martin. I think he's a little more vexed by the situation. Sure. Whatever now he's is, vexed he's frustrated. He is frustrated now. Now he's mouthing. Um. I think he's wondering, gee, why is that happening? Golly, golly. Do you think that's what he's saying? Are Something on those lines. Get in. Oh, oh my god, that's an incredible volley. And he raises his fist, and here we go. He loves this crowd on his side, and he loves playing at night on this court. Yes. He's got him going. That was a great get, and I must say, Ginepri produced a wonderful shot. Martin with the angle. We might see that a little later on. Juice, that was a, just a great rally. Let's see if Martin goes with that One wide One of your words, serve. pivotal. Pivotal rally. <laughs> Two and a half hours gone now. Couple of yeah, bad errors. Tom Martin should have already won this game, and he's handed back the initiative to Jeanette Pre in this game. There, Martin yes. waited for that ball to bounce. And then applied the pressure. Him. Applied the pressure to Ginepri, said, go ahead, you hit the passing shot with me, up two sets to one in the break. It, it's something that Ginepri has done before. Ginepri. So Martin knows he was laid off there. Juice, one love to Martin. Again, I think he's going to go with that wide serve. Oh, he's 
making Ginepri run right across the court. All credit to Ginepri there. He got a racket on the ball. With the wide serve and the serve volley, he's saying to Ginepri, let's see if you can really whip a forehand cross foot return. If you can, you're a better man than me. Otherwise, it's going to come right to my backhand volley, and I'll just poke it into that corner. This for two love. Oh, oh, what a Martin's cut off. Tremendous volley. I think he's a bit uh, keen. A bit pumped up. Oh, well, he is a pump up player. You know David from Birmingham, the, the Birmingham Davis Cup tie. I was there. Was it was wonderful. Tom Martin played brilliantly. Well, he's an occasion player. He likes these big occasions. And now he's got precisely what he wants the old veteran trying to ward off the young American. Do you know, Joel? He probably knows also this may be one of his very last big matches, certainly at night. Love it, so he wants to put on a show. He wants to, hey, maybe his last match on the Arthur Ashe Stadium court at night. And well, you get to the round of 16 at the U.S. Open. He'll play the winner of clay court specialist Juan Carlos Ferreira and Julio Ignacio Chela. He could beat either of those on a hard court. And that whole feeling of playing your way into a tournament. But again. He's got a bit of a ways to go before he's got this match to get rid of. Well, he's got the break, and if he can get a double break, he'll be well in tune. It's 15 all. Ginepri, though, is fighting hard. He's not giving way. Seventh double. Well, these next two points are the most important points of the match for Ravi Ginepri. He hasn't won too many games since the early part of the third set. <laughs> Whatever happens to Ginepri here, I, I have to say, Joel, I'm very impressed he's improved beyond all recognition since I last saw him, which was quite a few months ago, maybe at the end of last year even. Probably at the start of this year I saw him, and yeah, it must have been the start of this year, and he's improved enormously. The game, yeah. this whole game is so much more compact. But it's Todd Martin who leads 2 1 Martin with the break of serve by two sets to one. And by two sets to one. Still a long way to go in this fourth set. Jeanette Pree's got every chance of getting back into it and forcing it into five sets. Still there. Good serving there from top Martin. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right, David. I think Todd Martin is playing with a sense of contained urgency about him. A sense that, well, I'm 33. I'm a father now. Don't have that much left. So let's let's make take one good ride around the block. He wants he wants another last hurrah, doesn't he? He's playing well enough. That's an ace. He's 14. I could tell if you asked him that, though, he would say, How do, what do you mean by hurrah, and what do you mean by last? That's <laughs> the kind of way, that's the kind of thing he would respond by saying, his response would be. Left. As I've said before, Todd Martin, a bit cheeky. Friendly, cheeky. And a very nice man. Well, Todd Martin has come into net 105 times, 166, increased his percentage of success over the last few games, 7 of 10 this set. Game. Perfect. Martin, 3-1. Now, you've got to say here, he's, he's looking pretty good. Three three games to one. One. Would you say that? I would say someone who's up two sets to one and 3-1 playing as composed as Todd Martin this time is looking very good. 
And Ginefri has to, every one of these games is must hold for Ginefri now. Well, at least six of the last seven games. I'm sure Ginefri still thinks, I don't understand. I was, I was up, I was in control, he was angry. 15. How can I lose to this guy? Is it a problem when you're playing a friend? I don't think that's the issue in this match. <laughs> if they're peer, if you're same age, that can be a problem. If you're more or less in the peer group. But when it's someone who's more of the grad student advisor, as Todd Martin is to all these guys, it's a little bit, wow, Todd and I had never played, and I did pretty well against him in practice. I had no idea how he played points. 15 the, the true maturity of a player like Martin, as you pointed out, with the value of his experience, really surfaces in the match. And Jennifer had probably never felt that. And while, of course, he's admired the magnificent achievements of an Agassi or Sanford, he hadn't realized that this guy who he's practiced with dozens of times it's one heck of a player. 15-30. 30 all with his 18th ace. He knows the likes of Agassi or Sanford are brilliant. He didn't realize that Todd Martin was pretty darn as brilliant as them too, and he's seeing the full brunt of it tonight. 40. Ooh, just long. If Ginepri wins, this will be one of those ones. He says, boy, how did I, I got through that one. Well, he's about to try to claw it back to 3-2 down. Yeah, yeah. He does yeah. with his 19th base, third in the set. And Todd Martin is 3-2 up with the break of serve. And by two sets to one. And by two sets to one. If you're just joining us, this is Dave Luddy with Joel Drucker. It's been a cracker of a match so far, two hours and 40 minutes, and Todd Martin, who is a set and 5 4 down, and Ginepri, his opponent, Robbie Ginepri, was serving at 5 4. Well, Todd Martin's come back to lead by two sets to one and 3 2. And he's broken and he is heading for 4 2 if he can, but Ginepri has some wonderful shots, as you've just seen there. The 20 year old, Todd Martin, the veteran at 33. Well, that's what jumpy has got to do. He's got to say, all right, here you come. I'm going. He's got to take, he's got to get his feet into the ball. Oh, a brave effort, but easy on the ankle, Robbie. Well, that's smart got a of whole Martin. whole career there in front of you. That's it's very easy. smart of Martin to just bump that volley behind him. Someone as fast as Jeanneppe. Here's Martin. But look at this recovery, well, and he still tries. Easy on that ankle, look at that. Well, he should, that Easy. was very dangerous. 15 all. Macho tennis. Well, that's great. I thought Ginepri's return might have been long. Martin took the volley about two steps into the court. Lost long from Ginepri. 30-15, Martin. And there was one game earlier on where Martin just floated the ball four or five times. He hasn't used that tactic. Right at the start of this set when he broke. He hasn't used that tactic at all. I just wonder whether he should do it again if he can do it maybe on Ginepri's serve. That's right. I think he would. That's when I think the time to do it would be. 3-2, 30-15. Top Martin, slowly, slowly, slowly. Grinding his way here. Been there before, done it before. Knows how to do it. His grey hair, well, just as grey as before. Not getting any greyer anyway. Ooh, oh. He's overloaded. <laughs> he has been caught, you know. It must be the speed of Ginepri's returns coming at him. And also, I think Martin gets a little too tight on holding the racket. 
Probably want to relax the hands just a little bit and accept that pace. Very good point. 40-30. Martin still got one point to go 4-2 up in this fourth. Just wide. Well, there's your slice backhand, David. He used it as an approach shot. Not a rally shot, but still very suavely executed. Didn't have much pace. No. Didn't even have much slice on it. Well, just a, just a just little a bit touch. of old school shot. Just a little bit of under just like a bit of butter on the bread there. Just a little dabble. If it had come down with power, probably Ginepri would have hit that for a winner. As it is, 4-2. This is what we would term as Todd Martin's free game. And Ginepri has to win it. 20 aces to the youngster. It's just like to see Tom Martin just float a few back. Just like to see how Robbie Ginepri reacts. That's right, make him play. But he's played well, the youngster. He really has. I don't know, the younger, the younger you are, the harder you hit it. The more frustrated you become, the harder you hit. The composure doesn't really come into your psyche at all. You mean if you're, you're missing down. them? When you're down in a match, a little bit frustrated with yourself, you try to hit your way out of trouble. 30 15. Well, sometimes that's a good strategy. It's working. That's a good strategy. You've got to hit through your fear because you've got to hit the ball. Particularly if you're a counter punching baseliner. You can't, it's not so much court position as much as, as much as his ability to strike. Look at Andy Roddick last night. Down three set points in the fourth set tiebreak. Great. And again, Martin down 40-15, really playing for the rest of the match with those kind of shots, saying to Ginepri, guess what, I did that, and I'm going to do that to you again when it comes my turn to and serve. I keep doing it. Get keep used to it. it. You're not getting off easy in this game. Now, Todd Martin would be delighted to pull this back to juice, just increase the pressure even more. And here he comes. No. Oh. Great backhand. He takes it very early, that backhand. And Ginepri's beginning to lose it again. Well, what he's doing, he's breaking down Ginepri's skills. He's just giving him a lot of deep balls, a lot of movement, hanging with him in the rallies. And Ginepri not playing enough appropriate offense to really take charge of this. It's juice. See, Ginepri came in because he out of fear. That's what we call pressing the issue. And at the same time he starts making errors, having trying to hit the ball harder and harder and harder, he's slightly losing his composure at the same time. It's all linked in. That was the panic button. I think Ginepri here, I think, just only an ace. I think this. virtual match point here. Two a double break up surely would seal it for Todd Martin. Well, Ginepri, this is where he wants to crack a big serve pot down the middle. No. Martin had that one lined up. That was short and weak for I Ginepri. believe as Martin approached the net, Ginepri said, I've lost this point, I've lost this game. I don't think Ginepri believed that Martin was going to put it out. And he knew if Martin put it in, he would hardly have got it back. And if he did, Martin would have put it away. I think Ginepri had almost given up the point. I think you're right. But he's rushing. You see youngsters, they rush, 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 try to hit it harder and harder, and they just produce error after error. That's come in. That is a good shot. I think partially a little bit of luck involved, but it was a good shot. Oh, Martin was hoping it was going to go out, obviously. 
the frustration is there. It's, you don't know when it's going to go in, you don't know when it's going to go out. I think Ginepri has lost the grinder mentality, the ability to hit ball after ball, and he's just kind of whacking them a little bit. Temperament, because he's 20. Well, I think it's also, well, there have been players who are that young who solve that problem. That's, I'm talking about him specifically. That's his makeup. Well. My word, he's shown tonight, in the two hours and 50 minutes of play, tremendous talent. I mean, wonderful shots. Big serve, game, game. as you've just seen, 21st ace. Just needs a bit of a neck game, I think, and, and the older it gets, the better he'll be. We could be in for a nerve-tingling finish because this match is not yet over. Todd Martin is leading by two sets to one, as you can see. 4-3 up with the break of serve. But, you know, when you're serving for the match or getting close to it, you could wobble just a little. That was a chance for Ginepri. Well, Ginepri was going to wobble on that because that's the kind of passing shot Ginepri had been making earlier. Not that good of Martin Volley, but I think, again, volleying has a lot more to do with attitude than technique. And Martin, right now, he has the winning attitude, which is, I'm going to press this guy. He's going to have to come up with the goods. Yeah, the composure, you can see, his body language. Well, and the That's application Ginepri. of the pressure. The application of the cumulative pressure. 4 3 and 30 love to Todd Martin serving. He's trying to remain calm as his opponent becomes settled. Oh, well, that's got to be nice to strike 110 mile an hour ace down the center. Swifty. Big okay, serving Martin. Todd Martin. That 4-3 three 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 up. Perfectly played by Martin. My. Martin is five 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 five. Now, Robbie Ginepri is serving to save this match. And I always remember something Jimmy Connors told me when he was playing opponents. He was playing the Wimbledon final and John McEnroe was serving at 3-5 in the fifth. And Connors said, I just want to stay dangerous. out. Well, Todd Martin had two chances there. Missed both. And he was punished. Well, they were good passes. Again, he, he's just trying to get into Jeffrey's face a little bit, but that's not a good volley, and neither is that. Though neither of those are particularly good volleys. They were bluff volleys. But again, he, wa he wants to stay m mobile, not erect and Too short that little slow ball. Yeah, but this is uh, a game that uh, is not terribly vital to Todd Martin. Actually, hugely vital to Jeanette for 3 5 down. But I think Todd Martin would like to see Jeanette work really hard for this game and sap his strength for the next one to come. That shot into the corner. Legs on the ball. It's Todd Martin 101, man. That backhand down the line. 30 15 to Jeanette Pri. 4 5, 3 5 in this set. Trying to make it 4 5. Make him work, and he's making him work. He's coming within two points of moving into the last 16. Great pass. 
Well, Martin came in a little bit on a wing and a prayer. I don't think he intended it to, to come in, but it was, in fact, well, this might be a good enough return. And then he decided to come in, and that was too late. Jeanette Free has forced Todd Martin to serve out for this match. He's held on bravely in many ways, battled hard, and now Todd Martin is going to breathe in heavily because the next game is the vital one. It's 28 minutes to 11 here in New York. Is this going to be the final game? Because Todd Martin at the far end is about to serve for the match. He's leading the youngster, the 20-year-old Robbie Ginepri, by two sets to one and by 5-4. With new balls. With new balls. Couldn't come at a better time. Oh, wow. that is a wonderful point from Martin. What a great drop shot. Great run by Jeanette Free. <laughs> and Martin, that, that takes some good relaxation. It's Dean Love, three points to go. And Martin, that lob volley. That's well wide. But with new balls, you've got to hit them hard. They will fly off the court. Out, it's been called out. It was out. Bertie Love, Martin, steadily, surely, is going to go into the last 16. He's ground this match out. Some spectacular tennis, attacking tennis. Again, a long way deep. Out. It was out. It was a big second serve, a great return. 30 15. Well, he's had four first serves. Three of them gone into the net. Or three have been missed, to be more accurate. It is two match points to the vet. Oh, is not a happy young man. Now let's see if he goes with that beloved deuce court serve he's hit. A wide deuce court serve to Ginepri's forehand. Two sets to one, 5-4, 40-15, two match points to Tom Martin. Well, he's only got one his first wife, serve in. His wife, Amy. Tom Martin Over. has won it. He raises his arms up. The photographers come on with the camera crew six, seven, seven, and Todd seven, Martin six, and Robbie Ginepri have six, battled a really tough match here in three hours and one minute and Todd Martin enjoys the applause of a standing crowd and he's beaten the 20 year old youngster Robbie Ginepri 6-7, 7-6, 6-4, 6-4 a really deserved win just remember he was a set down he was 5-4 down in the second with Ginepri serving and he's bounced back and a really, not a classic, but a mini classic. I'll, that's a great term, David, a mini classic. I predicted Robbie Ginepri would win, but I'm delighted to be wrong. It was such a fine effort by Martin, such craftsmanship and such 
He's such a solid, upstanding person that when you do see him bring out this emotion at the U.S. Open as he has so many times, it's, it's, it's refreshing and it's real and his wife, Amy, enjoys it. It's just a, it's a very well-played match. Martin will see in the stats soon enough what, what he did to do that, but it was just a well-played match. He had tactics, he adjusted, and he fought. He fought back and you see him give a slight hug to Ginepri, who he's a bit, a bit of a mentor to. I just think the match turned when there was just a couple of odd line calls that did go against Todd Martin. It was towards the end of that second set, and he was really quite furious, and the level of his game went up by at least half a class, and that's perhaps what might made a difference. Well, the two big stats that leap out are the 69% of first serve percentage and 123 times to the net. Ginepri hit more winners, but the point is that Martin forced the action more, and that's really what tells the story. The point of coming to net isn't so much to hit winners as much as to force the opponent into making mistakes. And we don't see all that here on the statistics. But again, Ginepri was pressed, constantly pressed by the Martin attack. And as we said, drip, drip, drip. And just going back to that point, those bad line calls actually served to help Martin at the end of the day. Almost as a, ca as a catalyst, yeah. as a motivator, as something that got him emotionally into it. Maybe it was a little bit like a, like a kick in the head to get him going. So again, Todd Martin, a very impressive effort. Todd Martin has won in four sets. He's beaten Robbie Ginepri, 6-7, 7-6, 6-4, 6-4. He'll play in the next round either Juan Carlos Ferreira of Spain, the French Open champion, or Juan Ignacio Chela of Argentina, both baseliners. It's been a great match. We've thoroughly enjoyed it. Hope you have too. Please join us again tomorrow, Sunday, here in New York. John Drucker, myself, Dave Buddy, will be here to welcome you. But from us, for the moment, it's goodbye.